Okay, here we go. Mystic dreams elude the dreamer because even the softest pillows can't erase the fever of the rage in the heart of a pain dreamer. The warmest sheets can't erase the cold of those suffering the transfusion of an undeserved skull, taking away the homeostasis in the tongue once bold. The sweetest lullaby can't retrieve the soul prematurely sold to the cold, cold world without reprieve, sentenced to a life that even that some cannot even conceive, lying in a bed beneath a roof that isn't home because no one cares, lying within darkness and open-eyed nightmares because the cracking of the heart and soul drowns out the bedside prayers, but can't drown out the silence, can't erase or stifle the daily violence that came prior but however always amputates the growing wings of someone who could have been a true flyer. Someone who now spends the waking hours looking for the next best high to, meant to suppress those mentally spoken words. Be strong, don't cry. Keep walking, don't die. Keep going, your reward is close by. The same thoughts follow with tears and the words, why do I even try? There, this is where some of us have been but never stay, because by sheer faith and luck, we've all found our brighter days. But we all have someone we know who's in that position always, getting no true rest no matter where he or she lays, a friend whom, whom life constantly betrays, whose tears can't carry them to slumber, whose counting of sheep can't close their eyes, no matter how high the number, whose pastime is watching the clock, timing every 30 seconds between each side, because their social life is just another well that's gone bone dry. Like the hope for a Valentine in February or a present in December. Like the hope of being loved or even remembered, even if only for the birthday on the 15th of November. But now a name has come to mind. If not, then a person like this you'll soon find. Someone who just can't keep their nose to the grind. Someone full of sadness and rude who could use a friend that's true. Why not you? If not, then who will stop the next attempt at suicide? Who will prevent the cuts that let out the pain inside? Who better to prevent the rain to stop the next syringe of heroin, pipe of crystal, or line of cocaine? Why not stop another person from going insane by just developing a simple practice that isn't hard to keep? We can all make the world a better place by praying for those who just can't get to sleep. Thank you.